Howdy, I'm Dr. Kevin Gersky. I'm a veterinarian in the state of Texas in the United States, and uh, I'm the owner of Gersky Equine Performance Equine Hospital. At Gersky Equine Performance Hospital, we specialize mostly in lameness and podiatry. So today I'd like to talk to you about the AO scan and what we've been doing in our practice with the AO scan. Uh, the AO scan is a tool that recognizes frequencies throughout the body. We know that all molecules uh, are folded in, uh, all, all carbon molecules are folded and have a, a specific uh, way of being uh, portrayed in nature. And with this we get a rotation and, and a uh, variation in uh, frequency produced by the, by the organ or the, or the tissue. So the AO scan picks up on this and shows us uh, differences or difficulties within, that, within those frequencies. Let's us know if there's a disturbance in that body area or that organ. Um, and it, it kind of keys us in to things that we may not be able to see on the outside. Uh, so I always start uh, my examination with AO scan. I start with a with a complete history, just like any medical exam. I then go through a physical, uh, do a complete physical on the animal. Uh, of course, through the history, I found any any uh, complaints that we have, uh, anything that's that's the animal may be presenting for. Uh, in, in my instance, it's usually horses, um, and then I scan the animal. So we have within the scan, it will show a disturbance in the frequencies. Uh, and let's say we have a, uh, a situation in the foot. Uh, in one case that I, that I was uh, recently working on, I had a horse that was chronic laminitic. Um, and I was able to get about 85% uh, sound with some shoeing techniques, medications, uh, and steroid injections. But I couldn't get where I needed to be. Uh, the, there was bony changes. I was shoeing to the bony changes. I was doing everything uh, radiographically through ultrasound and through my knowledge of the foot that was that was making it to where we should be 100% sound and I couldn't get there. Uh, the AO scan showed me that this particular horse had some problems in the in the heel region uh, along with the chronic laminitis. That was not showing up on radiograph. It was not showing up uh, any lesions on the navicular bone. Uh, ultrasound did not show any any lesions at the navicular bursa or with the deep digital flexor tendon, but I went ahead and shod, uh, I went ahead and added some prototrochleotic uh, devices onto my laminitic shoe and the horse became 100% sound. So the thing is real, the thing works out and this is the way that I use it. I use it as another tool in, in my bag to, to make horses feel better.